Yaskawa. <laughs> And the last one that uh, I'm going to talk about is the high-speed output. So um, we've used this in a, a couple of high-speed applications. And it's, what it does is it provides a method for activating an output at high speed, independent of the task scan interval. So some of the applications that might need this are some sort of converting or labeling, uh, maybe a printing or to trigger a, trigger a vision camera to take an inspection. Something where on-the-fly external events have to be triggered based on axis position. And so um, this is a hardware thing. So the output is associated with an external encoder channel. So to use this, you need to use one of these available products, basically an I.O. card uh, that has an external encoder input. Um, and that includes our single access controller. And then the high speed output is a fixed output. Uh, it's Most of these, it's um, digital output one, except for the LIO-06 card, where it is digital output number seven. Um, to turn the uh, output on, the output will turn on within 13 microseconds of reaching the on position value that's been set. And this on position value may be changed on the fly. Uh, to turn it off, it'll turn off after traveling the, either the minimum distance that's set or the minimum time that is set here at one of these two inputs. And uh, the actual off is not high speed. Okay, so the actual off is dependent upon the application task rate of where you've placed this function block. So I'll show you uh, this application right here. Uh, so here's our high speed output block and uh, the way we've set this one up is again we have another jog block so I'll run this master. I'm just going to run it at a higher speed though so it's going at basically 10 revs a second. And since my high speed output was enabled you see it, it is starting to turn on this output every um, about 10 times a second. And right now, it's turning it on at a position of 90 degrees as I go around from 0 to 360. If I hold this on, it'll change it to uh, turn it on at 270 degrees. So I can change my position on the fly. So if we trace that, I'll show you what the trace looks like. Here's my uh, high-speed output that's toggling. Uh, so if the toggle input is on, my target is 270 degree, 70 degrees. So here's the external input going from 0 to 360, and it's about 270 degrees. Um, the scope actually shows 272. So it's a little misleading because the scope is tied to a task rate, so the, uh, the data may not reflect what's truly happening. We would have to put it on an external scope to really verify that it happens at 13 microseconds, but trust me, it does. <laughs> and then uh, the same with the off time. It's set at, uh, I think, uh, what I put in here, um, 20 milliseconds. Uh, so that varies a little bit um, with the task rate. Uh, and then you see when the toggle input goes off, it immediately changes to a target of 90. So since this was already past 90, uh, it waits until the next time where it crosses 90 and, and turns on again. So now my, my target is at 90 degrees. 